Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Custom Carving. Uh, firstly, thanks to all of those that have already uh, liked and subscribed the uh, previous few videos. Um, it's been a great first couple of weeks. Uh, I think we're up to 16 subscribers now, so we're getting there and hopefully we're all learning on this journey together. Um, first thing I wanted to talk to you about today is just a little bit about stenciling really um, and different things to consider when you're actually doing it. So uh, firstly, always think about what wood you're doing as we learned in the last video some of the harder woods probably aren't going to work as well and i'm probably going to save these now for perhaps a bit of pyro work later on at a later date but uh, all i'm going to be using for the purpose of this video is just my dremel tool um, and a bit of scrap two by four that i've just cut off it seems to carve pretty well um, and we'll see how we get on with it um, the other thing to remember is always just prepare your workstation um, and any wood that you're going to be working with um, so the actual wood that i'm going to transfer the final image on i've just given a bit of a sand so it's nice and clean um, and hopefully that should make it easier so uh, first thing i wanted to talk about really is just stenciling when you're actually find a stencil that you like and you want to transfer it to the wood um, you've got to think about how the image is going to actually look once it's carved so for the purposes of this i've just done two simple triangles there to give you an idea of the different patterns that you're going to make when you actually do carve the wood so i'll just quickly carve those in show you what i mean um, and then we'll be right back Again, just to give you a, a general idea, when you're actually going to be carving into the wood, you need to think, do you actually want to, uh, the cut to actually go inside the wood, in which case you keep it inside the lines, or do you want the wood to pop out? Um, personally, for a lot of the stencils and the wood carvings uh, that I've done so far, I think it looks a lot more professional um, and a lot better when you actually do the bottom design which is actually going around your black lines whatever you trace onto the wood um, and really make the design pop so you've got to think about what you actually want to do and what you want the finished product to actually look like when you've done with it so that's just um, a little tip um, I think I've done a few of the stencils where I've literally just gone around um, the the inside of the lines if you like and um, for me it just doesn't look anywhere near as good as when you're going around the outside to make the wood actually pop and then you'd remove this area the spare area and then it really stands out from the wood before you're sanding so that's just a little bit on stenciling um so yeah let, let's get on with uh, the plan um so i've just got again scrap bit of two by four that i've just sanded down on the top so it's nice and neat um found a nice design that i actually liked um, online of a sea turtle um, i don't know why but i just like the the, the way that they actually look um 
I'm going to tra try and transfer this onto the block of wood now. Um, literally, just a pencil, uh, what I've gone over it all with. Um, I'm going to stick that to the wood, hopefully transfer as much of the design across um, so that it's a good template for when I'm actually doing it. Um, all I use, to be honest with you, is PowerPoint. Um, I try and get something roughly the right size. So this, for me, just about perfectly fits the piece of wood that I'm going to be hopefully transferring it to. Stick it down with a couple of stickers and literally just go over the whole design, hopefully keeping it in place as you go. Um, it would be much easier with uh, some carbon paper or some tracing paper, but tonight, unfortunately, I ran out and um, I wanted to get this video out there tonight. So literally all I'm gonna do is try and hold the design in place um, and literally go over the lines. Hopefully I've put enough graphite on there um, when I've actually traced the design for it to actually come across and onto the wood. Um, don't forget, this is just the first stage. So if there's anything that does need darkening or you need to get more lines on there, it's pretty easy to do once you've got a, across the initial design. So all you wanna be able to do is actually see the outline of what you're trying to actually transfer onto the wood. Um, and hopefully this will work enough to be able to do that. Um, bit of a pain staking work actually going over the whole design, but actually when you're gonna be carving it, it's probably gonna take you a good 20, 30 minutes for something as simple as this anyway. So you're better off to just spend your time on it at the start. Um, so that hopefully the image comes off pretty well um, and you know what you're going to be carving basically. Um, so again, this is just a dead simple design, something that I liked and I thought, you know what, if I engrave it right, if I sort of go around the stencil in the right way, it should hopefully um, pop out really nicely just on this spare block of wood um, and we'll see how we get on. So I can just about see the outlines on there. For me, it's not really dark enough to carve. So I'm just gonna go over that now, um, again, just to make it a little bit darker so I can see what I'm actually doing. And then we'll be right back into the carving. So there we go. Um, just um, pretty much darken the lines on there so that I can actually see what I'm gonna be doing on this block of wood. Um, if it comes at anything like that, I think I'll be quite happy uh, for this sort of transfer project to see what it actually looks like. So what I'm gonna be doing um, is I'm gonna be going around the outside of the lines um, and hopefully that'll leave quite a nice finish on it um, rather than actually inside. Um, I think I'm gonna be using um, the smallest uh, Dremel wheel that I've got, which is the 105 Dremel version. Um, and literally just come in, um, go around those sides. The 105 is literally this little tiny one, if I can get this to actually focus. But as you can see there, it's virtually microscopic. So that should allow me to get in and around um, and leave the bits that I want. Not gonna go too deep for this piece because it doesn't need to be. Um, literally just go down a couple of millimeters, hopefully go around all the lines, leaving the detail um, and every, anything black basically leaving elevated. Um, and then we'll see how we get on. Um, just for this uh, particular project, again, I'm just using my Dremel 4000 with the flat shaft attachment. Uh, once I've gone round all of the lines, then I'll decide how much of this extra material that we've got here, here and here, um, I'm actually gonna take away um, just to make it look um, good. So I'm gonna get on with the carving now. Um, I'll do that in um, sped up version, so you're not gonna be sat here for 20 minutes just watching me uh, go through it, and then we'll see what it looks like at the end. So again, that's all attached now, ready to go. I've got the Dremel set to around about 20,000 reps per minute. Let's see how we get on with that. Um, just gonna go through the outlines of everything and see where we are at the end.
So as you can see, that is pretty much the basic outline. I've gone around all the uh, dark spaces around the outside of the lines. Um, still looks a bit messy at the minute. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just use a nylon brush to get any of those splinters off and see what we're left with then. Um, then I can decide what areas to take away to make it really stand out. So that's a bit better. I can see pretty much what we're left with now. Um, I'm just gonna take some more of the, the whiter areas that I don't want elevated out and then see what we're left with. For the bigger pieces, I'm gonna use the uh, bigger wheel, which is the 107. Uh, but for in between these small bits like here, um, I think I'm just gonna widen the gaps that I've got between sort of the scales, if you like, on the, fin on the fins uh, with the small 105 bit. So I'm gonna get that done and then see what we're left with. Right, so that's the bulk of the material out. Uh, just going to give it all um, a little bit of a sand and see what we're left with. Right, I just want to go in between the gaps again, um, the smaller bits, and just smooth it out a bit. I'm probably going to take a bit more of this material back as well, just to really make it pop, um, and then we'll see where we're at. Right, I'm just looking at the piece now, um, and for me, I just want to take a bit more of this background material off just to make it stand out. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I'm going to do it with the Dremel 9903, please, which should just get quite a bit of the material out quite quickly just to outline it and make it pop.